All right, guys, so the question reads, which of the following mechanism, uh, mechanisms would be associated with the opening and closing of channels during phase two? And you can see, uh, look at the answer choices. Is it A, ligand-gated calcium channels opening? Is it B, ligand-gated sodium channels opening? Is it C, voltage-gated calcium channels opening? Is it D, voltage-gated sodium channels closing? Uh, e, voltage-gated sodium channels opening? Now, you know this is, obviously, this is going to be like a, a, a cardiac... Uh, question, right? So then we have to ask ourselves, is the cardiac, is it the pacemaker or is it going to be the uh, myocyte, okay? And that's because it, there, there are two different ones with that that you have to know for step for the step exam. But taking a step back before you even, before you even get to this point, and especially phase two, now I know everyone's going to be jumping on something, hopefully on this, but you got to understand uh, understand the concept that when you see something underneath the curve, okay, I want you to think like this. I want you to think, and if you watch the video for um, the cardiac, I don't say if it's cardiac myocytes or cardiac, uh, but it's a cardiac video. There's a picture, and sometimes the picture you get that visual. And I, you know, I took this from somebody on YouTube when I was studying studying for it, and my pictures aren't the best here, but. <clears throat> Inside, okay, let's just say you're on some graph here. Inside, you're going to see a banana, okay, because this, the inside is going to say is potassium. On the outside, this is going to be a salt shaker, okay, and so you got sodium, and then this is a bone, so this is going to be your calcium, okay? So if you know that potassium's on the inside, calcium and sodium are on the outside, you're going to have a better chance of understanding this. Because if you started, let's just say, for example, you start here, and it starts going up. So for this to go up, you know, kind of away from the bottom, something has to come in to make this thing go up, okay? And this is just how you can kind of understand, memorize these things per se, understand the concept. So, so does that mean when something comes in, well, potassium's already on the inside, so something else has to come in. It's gonna be calcium or uh, sodium. And it's the same thing here. You know, there's, a, there's things at rest, but then something filled the center, right? It pushed this line going up. The line didn't go down, line went up. So something's coming in. It's gonna be calcium or, or sodium, right? So how do I know which one? Very simple. Uh, and I should have drew this line more st steep. When it's gradual, this gradual one on the pacemaker cell, you gotta be thinking it's calcium coming in, okay? And then the picture that I always showed, I want you to put a little lightning bolt, okay? And then as it comes down, well, if it comes down, something must be leaving, okay? Well, what's the only thing that leaves? Potassium, okay? So calcium comes in on the, on the uh, pacemaker, and then uh, potassium leaves on the pacemaker. Now, on the cardiac myocyte, it almost looks the same, but then you have this thing called the plateau phase. Now, the plateau phase is basically, you know, it's, it's like a flat line there because it's a balance between something leaving and something coming uh, coming in, and that's what creates it like this. So over here, this is more of a, a faster way you go up, right? Something came in really quick, so it's not calcium, because we said calcium is slow. It's sodium rushes in, and we always put a little lightning bolt because it's voltage-gated, okay? And then sodium races in, and then when it gets to the this peak up here, sodium channel closes, and then when anytime something comes down, you gotta be thinking potassium, potassium has to escape, okay? But then there's a balance here. Well, we know if something's escaping, it's gotta be potassium, but then something's coming in. And that's the question that they're asking because phase two right here, and again, we know it's the myocyte because there's a plateau phase, right? And the reason is because when it squeezes, it's got to squeeze for a long time to push that blood out, right? The pacemaker is just, it's just quick. But for the myocyte, uh, the myocardium, it's got to pump and squeeze. So, but this is a balance, right? This plateau is a balance. It's got to be one of two things, right? What are my two choices? Sodium or calcium? And you're going to know it's going to be the calcium, okay? And it's actually a balance, you know, it's a balance between the, technically it's a balance between the potassium and the calcium. And then when it gets here, obviously the, the calcium channel is closed and then all you have is potassium coming out and it goes back down. But here you go, it's the pacemaker 
and this is the myocyte, okay? So to answer this question, which of the following mechanisms will be associated with the opening and closing of channels during phase two, we know it's a balance, and in all this stuff, we're dealing with the lightning bolts across these guys, so we know it's not gonna be ligand gated, and if you don't know the difference between ligand and voltage, watch the, uh, um, the pharmacology videos really kind of touch on the touch on these. We talk about G protein, ligand gated, and stuff like that. So now we're just down to voltage gated, right? Good. Always know voltage gated. And then which one creates the balance that's coming in? It's the opening of the calcium channels. That creates the phase two. Now, a better question, a better answer would have been it's a balance between potassium leaving and, and calcium, right? Because if it was just the if it was just the, the calcium alone um, coming in, this thing would keep going up. But since it's a balance between the two, it's, 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 a, it's equal and, and flat lines on that. Okay? And we just know it's, it's, not, the, uh, it's not the sodium. Sodium goes real fast right there. Okay? So in this question, the answer choice is C, voltage-gated calcium channels opening. And again, watch that video where you can get more of a visual for this, guys. So hope it was helpful.